Former President Donald Trump has asked the Supreme Court to overturn Colorado's ruling, removing him from the state ballot for 2024 on the grounds of the 14th Amendment insurrection. Joining me now is Bloomberg's Gregory Cordy with more. So, Gregory, essentially what Trump and his legal team are, are arguing in this filing that Bloomberg has, has seen is that he did not engage in insurrection. So is that what this is going to come down to when the Supreme Court, if assuming that they take this up, makes this decision, definitions and interpretation of what exactly engaging in insurrection actually is? There's actually any number of ways the Supreme Court can decide this case, uh, either all the way from completely in Trump's favor to completely against Trump. And the definition of insurrection and whether, uh, uh, whether there was one on January 6th and whether former President Trump engaged in that insurrection is one of the questions. But they don't, they don't even need to decide that. They can decide that the 14th Amendment doesn't apply to the president. There's actually a legal argument that uh, it, it doesn't. They could decide that uh, Trump may or may not have engaged in insurrection, but that the Colorado system didn't give him due process to make his case. So procedurally, on the merits, whole lot of ways the Supreme Court could decide this. 